What's up everybody, Kinetic here, and welcome to another First Look video. This week, we're gonna take a look starting with Far Loan Sales. I got a couple of other videos lined up that I'm gonna be doing here, but I wanna start here with Far Loan Sales. I picked this up a couple of days ago on Steam. It was on sale uh, for like 25% off or something like that. One of the daily deals or something like that. And I looked at it, I was like, wow, this looks really interesting. It's unlike anything I've ever really played before. And since the First Look series here on the channel, it's all about exploring and trying new things for the most part to, to throw in some more variety here on the channel besides your typical RPGs or whatever. Um, I thought this would be a great candidate for that. And so I've got the game, I've got a new camera angle because I've changed some things around here and I don't have the kind of thing that I used to sit the camera on anymore, but I think it's okay. I think the camera's okay. You guys think it's okay? This chair sucks though. This chair, I'm so done with this chair. How many times, I can't reach it. How many times have you seen me like, messing around with the stupid lever going up and down because it keeps automatically sinking it's broke like it won't hold pressure anymore so, auto sinking and stuff anyway i'm on a tangent let's get into the game shall we full disclosure i have already played like the first 10 minutes of this game just because i wanted to make sure that i i, I had a, a good understanding of what i was kind of getting myself into like what are the controls like and stuff like that and yeah sure enough within 10 minutes i was like ah okay just kind of click like i know what i can expect from this game so we are going to go ahead and start brand new and this way from that experience i can also kind of help you guys understand what the heck is going on here too press any key but yeah you could sum up i suppose far loan sales as an exploration platforming game but very different when i think of platforming games i do not think of a game at all like this um it's very charming the visual style the music and, and something about just the simplicity of it the puzzle solving it's a beautiful game and it's even without it being on sale it's very cheap notice how it has kind of like this 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 painting style going for it and I really like that so I think that's our mailbox that just fell down you can pick it up by pressing V move it around if you want to uh, can I put this back I haven't actually tried mm, doesn't seem like it it wants to you know what we'll take it with us that's what I do every time anyway <laughs> if I don't know what to do with something I just take it with me so now we have a uh, lovely little cottage. And you can see we've got uh, this in our way. So what do we do? Well, colors are a big indicator of, of what you should do or, or things that you can interact with. So if we zoom in here with the uh, the X key, you can see that there is a, a red button just above me. Go ahead and press jump or space bar. And voila, lights come on. A little musical interaction. It's nice, huh? You can also jump by pressing because I'm, I'm controlling the left and right that it, it uh, said. Not with the arrow keys on the keyboard, but with A and D, actually. And you can press W or spacebar to, uh, to jump. Both do the same thing. S doesn't seem to do anything just yet. And V, like I said, will pick things up. So this is a nice little place. And now we will jump up here x so yeah it's it's telling us we can zoom in basically go ahead and drop that you know what i didn't try this before let's try and grab that light can we oh i can look at that that's so cool i'm so glad i started this over this this game from what i've heard isn't the longest game that you can play but for what it's worth it's pretty fun from what most people have experienced. The ratings are very good on Steam. And it, I think the only significant complaint I've heard anybody say is that, yeah, it's it's too short. I don't know how long it takes. I guess it depends on whether you're trying to speed run through the experience or, or not, but uh, you're not likely to get 60 hours out of this game. Maybe 20. And that might be generous, judging from how people say it. But who knows what they mean by it being a short game. Ah, water! Water's okay. We're safe. We're so we're just running around here. You might be wondering, like, is there a point to this? There's no enemies. There's nothing 
But you running across the screen, Kinetic? Yes, there is. Because we're leaving our home, seemingly for good, to get to this. This here is our ship, <laughs> I guess you could call it, or a tank, maybe, because it does roll. But then again, as the title suggests, it also has sails. So anyway, again, color is a big indicator of like the, the types of things that we can uh, interact with. So again, if we jump, hit the little button, boom, got ourselves a little elevator action. And we can press it again. And we got different levels that we can interact with here. Uh, so where should I start? I think I'll start by getting rid of this lantern, actually. We'll go ahead and there we go, we'll hang it up there. We got another lantern over here as well by my bed, as well as a chair. I wonder if that chair is ever going to be used. It probably will. You get these hooks that you can hook things onto, like I just did with the uh, the light. You can jump and, uh, and press V and either put something or take something off. Um, I'm not sure if I want to explain everything just yet. Let's just kind of go through it, right? So what are the, the main buttons that we want to go through here? Or, or what's what's going on with the buttons that will get this thing moving? That Yeah, let's, let's start with that. Well, we have an energy thingy over here. And it's looking pretty empty, right? So if we press this button here, nothing. Nothing's going to happen, right? So what we need is what? Fuel. Where does the fuel come from? Over here. If we press this button, whoop, there we go. That will lift up and use whatever this stuff is as fuel to fill up the, the tank. And one of these boxes fills up the tank about halfway. So we'll go ahead and we'll fill it up by using two of those boxes and we can store uh, extra fuel that we have here on these uh, these hooks. All right, so having said that, let's go ahead and get this baby rolling. And keep pushing, 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 and there we go. Kind of locks in place. For a little bit anyway. And you can see the energy levels going down. And also, take a look up just above my character. Steam is building up. We gotta press this button to let off some steam. We, and it seems like we get a bit of a boost from doing that too, which is pretty cool. Button came back out, does that automatically. Go ahead and push it to lock it back in place. And it sort of uses like a like a certain amount of fuel, certain amount of cycles, and just keeps going like that. Oh, steam is building up. Woo! Fun stuff. Rolling right along. So how do we stop this thing if we need to? That's a good question. We've got ourselves a little button right here. It's a little, it's kind of in a funky spot. Admittedly, I think, but it works. Go ahead and pop that steam. I think we might be coming up to something soon though. Yeah, so I went ahead and hit the button and I don't know if you notice that or not. Let me go ahead and do it again. There, see? It's like an anchor. Basically, it digs in and it stops your your vehicle real quick. Now if we go out here, the, the ramp will go down automatically and we can come out here and explore on foot if we like. And we're actually a lot farther than I thought we were to, um, to something worth stopping for. But there you go, there's just, Kind of how that works. We'll, I'll go ahead and take this opportunity to drop some fuel in. Oops, pressing too many buttons. Yep, get some more fuel in there. And I think, yeah, I think that's the last of our fuel for now. So we are definitely due to to get somewhere. Go ahead and press the accelerate button. Anchor automatically goes back up and off we go. Keep going. A little bit further, I think. And we should come up upon 
some more fuel here soon. Aha! There it is! Stop! That's what I was expecting um, when I stopped a little bit ways back there. Like I said, I played about the first 10 minutes or something like that. Now, so far, it's pretty simple stuff, right? Not crazy exciting action or anything like that. But this is, you could say, the tutorial phase <laughs> of, the, uh, of the game. It's just meant to get you used to using the fuel uh, in the the fueler to get your energy tank filled up using the the accelerator button to use use the fuel to get you going blow off some steam to make sure you don't blow up your tank boat thing <laughs> and yeah we will get to something more complex and some uh oh that's right i didn't hit the button yet We'll get to some of the, the puzzle solving action here pretty soon. Just gotta go ahead and drop that in there. There we go. And we're good. Let's rock. Now on either end of the, the ship, let's just call it a ship. You've got uh, these anchors that you can grab similar with uh, the V button, and uh, and then you can drag them out, and they, they have a cable that's attached. And I'm thinking that you you'll use those at some point to either pull things down or to to possibly pull the ship up to something. Like if you can't quite get enough get enough juice to get up, uh, you know, a really strong hill or something like that, stronger than this, for example. Because look at how it's struggling just to get up this this little hill right here. I think that's how- oh, 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 stop, stop, stop! There we go. I see the little boxes down there. We can also zoom out if we, uh, we press C, which is right next to the, the zoom in of X. Alright, so we go ahead and let's just get this stuff on board real quick. Got ourselves some more fuel. Now the interesting thing, if you if you really look around at, at the world as we're going through it, is it's not entirely fantasy, like based on like a completely fantasy-driven world. Um, it seems to almost be like a post-apocalyptic kind of world that we're making our way through here. Ah 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 ah! got ourselves some containers up here including our first barrel I think the barrels are actually the same as these boxes but just double the amount I haven't actually tried yet but I've been meaning to come on baby get up that hill we don't have to wait for the fuel to run out let's go ahead and whoops I'm not pressing buttons right. Drop ourselves into their pod in there. Box of fuel. Box O fuel. Come on, you can do it. Come on, baby, go. Oh yeah, there we go. I love that little little boost we seem to get from hitting that steam button. Okay. There we go. We've got <laughs> We got ourselves a full tank and man, every hook is He's hooking on to, to something. You might be wondering, what's this thing over here? Well, this is a fire hose. And if you look really closely at the character, it almost looks like my character is a, a fire person. Now, I wonder if that's what happens, because I was just talking about this. I wonder if that's what you need if you let the steam build up too high. Maybe a fire will start or something like that. That could be uh, what happens. All right, baby, go. Moving right along. I'm gonna let that build up a little bit. Yeah? Go on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And pop it! Oh, look at that! 
We even had sparks coming out the back. Okay, okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I think... Yeah, this is where I stopped last time. Uh, and then I, I decided that's far enough. I've got the... I've got how to work this thing. This ship of mine. Now we're coming up on our first puzzle. And I don't know what's going on. I think we have to still keep going forward, though. Yeah. Go on. A little bit more. A little bit more. And I think we're gonna hit that barrier, but we're not going to break through it. And yeah, there we are. Okay, so. But look at that. We've lined ourselves up really nicely now with uh, this. We can, come on, get up there. Platforming with keyboard and mouse is not my, <laughs> not my strength. What is this thing? Uh, can I pick it up? I can. Look at that. Okay, well, I can also just push it if I want. Does it roll? It rolls. And swoosh! Into the ship it goes. Wait, where did it go? Okay. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yeah, it wants to roll around, so you know what? Let's put this somewhere where it won't be an issue. Yeah, right there should be good. Okay. We drop that there. I don't know what that's for. Do we burn it? We might burn it. <laughs> Maybe that's its purpose. So it looks to me like there's going to be something inside of here. Aha. Look at that. That's cool. There's a little painting of the place, too. Uh, well, there's only one thing. A button. Oh, we keep pushing it, I guess. I think I know what this is. That's interesting. The platform raised me up now? Interestingly enough. Oh, cool. Look at the crane turn around. Um, I think that is our sails. So let's go ahead and zoom in. We got another button here to push and... Oh, voila. Oh, that is awesome. We got totally different music too, like to the to the sailing mode than, uh, than when you're using fuel. This is such a chill game. Like, this is gonna be one of my go-to games when I wanna just kinda chillax. Is that a barrier? I think we're gonna bust it. Yeah, there we go. Bust on through. Watch out for the seagulls. Actually, the seagulls better watch out for me. <laughs> hey, this is great. So I don't actually have to use any fuel this way, but how do I stop it? now if I want can I I think I just did that on purpose didn't I yeah so I push it in and then if I want yeah look at that you can push it again and then it will fold back down if you uh, if you want to stop okay cool because the only other way I know how to stop this thing is to go all the way down to this area here and uh, and hit my anchor. You know what? Might as well do something with my time. We'll throw some fuel in the uh, in the tank. Now there's there is something that I'm still kind of wondering what's going on here. There's another red button. See, there's a counter and there's a red button underneath that. I don't know what the meaning of the counter is. Or then there's those three red lines there. I don't know what that's about. I think the button might actually be for the, um, the, 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 the cable thingy I was talking about, that you can, it looks like you can hook on that, that red thing on the very, very, very front end, and has a cable attached to it. I think that may then, like, draw it in, right? So, yeah, take a look at that. Lunar, giant, stranded ship. 
Notice we, we passed a lighthouse back there. We are essentially out where the ocean is supposed to be. Um, Crap, I didn't mean to do that. In fact, you know what? Stop. Oh! Well, that was bad, I think. Um... <laughs> That's scary. Okay, so now what? We definitely can't go through that. It looks like there's a couple of items down here, too. What's that about? Okay, I can't go past it. What if I go out the back? Ah, look at that. Look, there's some stairs here. Aha. Hey, what's that? Something on the ground. Um, what is that? I, I don't know. It's probably... Nothing? Oh, wait, there's something else down there, too. Is that a... It looks like a bell. Whoa. It's creaking like it's gonna collapse. Holy crap, is that a canyon underneath me? It is. What is this? It is a bell! Uh, I kind of wish it would, it would ring <laughs> if I pitch it like this. Hey, that's cool. So we got a bell. What's the bell do other than ring? Let's um Let's go ahead and attach it somewhere. I don't know where a good place to put this thing is. Oops. I guess just on any empty hook will do. Do I have any empty hooks? Not really. That's what I'm going to do if I can upgrade my my ship. Give it some more hooks. <laughs> I guess. And a snack bar. Snack bar would be nice. Oops. There we go. Uh, get enough fuel for now, so we don't need to put any more fuel in there. But we got our bell there and relocated one of that. Okay, so then there's something else. I saw there was a red button right there. There's another button over here. This... I think I know what this is gonna do. Maybe. And I don't think, think there's anything else to do, so let's go ahead and do that. Whoa. Oh, there it goes. And... <laughs> nice. That sounded bad. I think I broke something. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Sorry, whoever. If anybody was in fact down there um okay yeah so all we should need to do we don't need to yeah we don't need to give it any fuel let's just go ahead and get our anchor back up and off we go you know since the, sa the sails stay up the way they do yeah i think i'll just uh i'll just hang out here where the uh, the anchor button is So this is this is quite an interesting game, wouldn't you guys uh, agree? And this is for sure just the the tutorial section of the uh, of the game so far. Who knows what I'll be getting myself into later? But for what it's worth, it's a pretty interesting game. Okay, I think we're going to be coming up on, again, maybe on something. Is this going to get up here on on just the power of the wind? So far, so good. I'm just chilling inside the uh, inside the ship, waiting to hit the anchor button to make sure that we don't fall off a cliff or something like that. The scenery is getting ah very interesting looking. Yeah, look at that. We're gonna have ourselves another thingy here. So let's stop. Oops, I was. A, a hair too late. But look at that. Something fell down. Another one of those... Wait a second. Wasn't that inside? Hang on a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's gonna roll off. It's gonna roll off. Go get it. Go get it before it rolls off. Oh, I got it. Am I crazy or... or did that thing just somehow pop out of the ship? 
Because we hit that. Because didn't I put that here? I'm pretty sure I put that here. And the impact somehow made it fly through. Okay. There, that's good. Um... Yeah, okay, so... Oh, right. First thing I know... Whoops! No, 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 no! Stop, 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 stop! <laughs> the first thing I know is we've got some more fuel tanks. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this barrel here. I'm completely out of hooks. I've got nowhere to put this stuff. We'll put it over here. Hopefully, there's nothing too hot that's going to cause that to explode in that area. And we've got ourselves another box here. I think I will just go ahead and throw this in here. Screw it. It's only like 25% empty, but these boxes are getting a bit much. Alright. Let's go see what we can see now. Um, I see ladders. And there's a little... Okay. So we do walk across that platform. Zoom in for me. Thank you. Whoa, 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 what's that? Okay, I think that's safe. Gonna jump over it just to be sure. Uh-oh. That means I can't... go back from here. What's this? Uh... Well, there's a button. There's a, a, another one of these barrels. I don't know if I want to hit that yet. Oh, I can't actually get out of here until I do something. So, hit that. Okay. Yep, I see what's going on here. So, grab the fuel. <laughs> uh, drop that right about there, and... Oh! So cool. Okay. Well, we still have lots of fuel and the the top is open now, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, so is there anything over here? It looks like there is actually. Is that another Oh, that's a light. We got ourselves another light, guys. Okay. Um well, I'll take lights. Lights are always good in mystery games. And this game is pretty mysterious, gotta admit. So, hang on a second. This Did this actually help us, though? Because it looks like if I go now, we'll just fall into... <laughs> we'll just fall into this... This canyon. I don't... I, I, don't, I don't know if we actually helped ourselves at all yet. Maybe I need to hit... Hang on a second. There's another button over here. Hit this. Whoa. What does that do? Whoa, what happened? <gasps> okay. For a second there, I thought I broke it or somehow. But no, that... That's awesome. <laughs> uh, How do I get down from here? Uh-oh. I... I can't jump. And it seems like a bad idea to jump from here. What? Hang on. Are you serious? Oh! Oh my god, look at that. I've got like a little parachute thing <laughs> that opened up. Like, my coat opens up into like a parachute and, and helps me land safely. That's awesome! That's so cool. Okay, um... Well, we've got another thing that needs a hook that we don't have a hook for let's i don't know put it here i guess you know what i'm guessing all of these lights will come in handy at some point like we might end up in like some really dark place and the light is only going to illuminate a certain area and we're going to need another light you see what i'm saying to like see where we're going and and, and what's what's up ahead all right so I think if we put up the sails, I mean, let's just try it. But I think if we put up the sails, it's gonna get blocked by that thing. Yep. Dun. <laughs> that's uh, that's a no. Okay, we'll go ahead and 
we've got fuel galore anyway, so let's get full steam ahead, baby. That was cool. I, I, I like, I like how that uh, that puzzle played out. And I think you know this. That's gonna wrap it up for this uh, this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed a a brief look at Far Lone Sales and um, the, the type of game that it is. It is a, a platforming exploration puzzle game. Let's just put it like that. Th these are my words, not the official description. If you want the official details, if you want to know more about Far Loan Sales Beyond, which you'll see here in this video, you should check out the link down in the description below. I'll have a link to the uh, the Steam page where you can check it out and uh, and maybe pick up the game when, uh, when it's on sale again or you know, it's, again, it's not even that expensive. Oh, I see some fuel. Stop! <laughs> As if I need it, but you know, I I'm I'm a hoarder by nature. Again, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. Click the like button to support for some videos here on the channel, and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Thanks again for watching. This is Kinetic, and I'll see you next time.